इंट्रोड्यूस योर सर ओके सो माय सेल्फ रंजीत घोरपडे लाइक करंटली आई हैव अराउंड फाइव इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग फील्ड एंड लाइक इन इन दी मैन्युअल फील्ड ओनली एंड लाइक आई एम करंटली लर्निंग द ऑटोमेशन एंड like learning the automation using selenium with java yeah okay what is the public static void man string argument okay uh do uh, those the, the public static void man string argument is like uh, what we use into the main method okay so uh, that is public is the access specifier uh, static is the modifier and uh, void is a return type and main main is a method name and string argument is the uh, like uh, what we call uh, called uh, it is parameterized or non parameterized yeah okay so what is method overloading so uh, method overloading is uh, developing a um, same method uh, but variation in the uh, string uh, uh, like uh, vari- variation in the parameters or what we can uh, called it as a, a string argument that is a, a method overloading what are conditional statements um conditional statements conditional statements actually don't know. okay what is uh, inheritance and explain all types of inheritance okay so uh, inheritance is uh, uh, the method that is uh, what we called as uh, um, inheriting the parent class uh, what we can uh, called it as a super class into the uh, sub class and uh, uh, for inheriting uh, we have multiple methods that is um, uh single uh, inheritance uh, multi level uh, inheritance then hierarchical inheritance and hybrid inheritance so in a single inheritance we can uh, called it as a uh, one single child can uh, inherit uh, one single parent and in multi level inheritance there are two parents uh, and uh, from there the two parents Uh, a child can inherit inherit the property from uh, the immediate parent and immediate parent can uh, the his parent can inherit the property from uh, his parent his immediate parent so uh, that uh, uh, that kind of multi level inheritance work and in hierarchical level inheritance uh, there is a single uh, parent and multiple childs so uh, multiple child can inherit the property uh, from the single uh, parent and in hybrid um, uh, level inheritance uh, uh, we can uh, call it as a uh, uh, single child uh, like child can um, inherit the property from parent and uh, from uh, his like uh, grandparent also so that is a hybrid uh, inheritance okay so what is method overriding so uh, method override uh, overriding is uh, like uh, developing a uh, same method uh, uh, same method into the parent class uh, what we uh, same method in the parent class like what we have uh, with the same name and same signature which is used into the child class that is a, a method overriding okay what is super keyword so uh, super keyword is uh, the um, is the like uh, keyword that we can use uh, to um, uh, to call or what we can call uh, it as a super calling statement in super calling statement we can use a super keyword and in super with the use of super keyword we can um, call the uh, parent uh, a parent class or uh, or the constructor uh, from the parent uh, class uh, in between the parent class okay, what is super calling statement 
so uh, super calling statement uh, is the statement which uh, we have used uh, uh, like uh, to call the um, uh, parent class uh, in in into the, uh, in uh, in between the uh, parent class only we can use the super calling uh, statement in the parent class we can use uh, to call the uh, parent class property into the parent class what is difference between local and global variable okay uh, uh, so uh, local uh, variable uh, uh, what we can call it uh, it as a it, it is used locally and it is uh, like uh, 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 restricted only into the methods and uh, global variable uh, it used globally and it is like uh, restricted only into the class from uh, starting of the class to ending of the class like um, uh, and in local variable uh, we cannot uh, differentiate between um, static and non static uh, methods and in global variable we can di differentiate between uh, static and uh, non static methods and uh, yeah yeah that's it okay what is this keyword okay uh, so this keyword is used uh, to call the um, uh, this keyword is the keyword that uh, is is been used into the uh, to call the uh, constructor uh, into the child uh, child one uh, child class what we can say in between the child class to call uh, same um, constructed into the child class the, uh, let's say we have two uh, uh, constructor into the child class to call uh, the constructor into in uh, into the child class we can use the uh, this keyword what is this calling statement uh, this calling statement uh, is like uh, similar to the um, this keyword and in uh, this keyword what we can uh, with the use of this calling statement uh, we only inherit uh, the uh, constructor uh, from uh, a similar class same class what we can say in same class uh, we can inherit the uh, constructor uh, constructor only yeah two types of constructor different constructor okay what is scanner mm. Scanner, I don't know. Okay, what is the diamond problem? Mm, uh, so, uh, while uh, diamond pro problem we uh, we can face while um, Diamond problem. To call the uh, one. one class uh, into another class while calling the uh, uh, method into the one class to another class uh, we face the diamond problem what is the interface uh, so uh, interface uh, is the like mm, uh, what we can say interface is the mm, uh, uh having a abstract class in it uh abstract uh yeah abstract method in it and uh, with the use of implements we can um uh inherit uh the interface okay so what is abstract class and abstract methods okay 
so uh, abstract class is the class uh, in which we have the abstract method and abstract method is that uh, uh, we have uh, nothing in it like uh, we we used uh, the abstract method uh, for the showcasing purpose only for the showcasing purpose or hiding something we can use the abstract method okay what is difference between abstract method and concrete method okay so uh, um, in difference between abstract method and concrete method are uh, like the in abstract method we don't have any data uh, in uh, uh, we don't have any data and uh, in concrete method uh, method we have the uh, data in it um, uh, in concrete method and uh, um, uh, abstract method uh, what we can say it it can be like uh, Hundred uh, percent uh, used for hiding the uh, uh, hiding the para para in it, or uh, and uh, concrete method uh, we uh, we are we are not hiding any uh, anything in it data in it. Okay, what is exceptional handling? so uh, exception uh, exceptional handling is the uh, nothing but the uh, handling handling and the exception so uh, handling the exception uh, we can uh, do while using uh, try and uh, catch block so uh, we uh, if uh, we got any exception then uh, using uh, uh, try uh, try block we uh, try block um, we can get that exception and using a catch block we can handle that exception so while running any program uh, if we got any exception uh, in one line then uh, we can write a second line to uh, cover up that uh, exception in that case we can use a try and catch a catch block what is difference between throw and throws okay uh, so uh, throw uh, throw is uh, used for the uh, throwing an error and uh, throws uh, throws uh, keyword is used for like handling uh, handling an error so uh, throws uh, um, throws uh, will be uh, in into the method we can what we can call uh, uh, we got into the methods and uh, throws uh, is with the methods we can write it with the methods and uh, yeah uh, throw uh, can be um, uh, throw the single kind of error and with the help of throws we can handle multiple kind of errors yeah. exceptions okay what is thread dot slip so uh, thread uh, dot uh, slip uh, is uh, the method uh, in java uh, for with the use of it we can uh, uh, we can uh, give the timeout uh, to run the particular method let's say 5 second 10 second or multiple uh, into the multiple minutes while using of it uh, for the uh, loading purpose of any website we can use a uh, thread dot slip okay, what is a string functions we have uh, string functions mm. Function with check. Okay. What is the type casting and explain all type casting? Mm. Type casting uh, is Actually, I need to check type first. Okay, what is array? So, uh, array uh, can be like fixed in nature, and uh, array can only accept the um, heterogeneous value. Sorry, homogeneous value. Okay, array can only accept the homogeneous value. 
Okay, what is collection? So, uh, uh, collection uh, is the interface, and uh, collection have uh, uh, various interface in it. And collection is then uh, dynamic in nature, and collection uh, collection accepts uh, both the values that homogeneous and heterogeneous values. Okay. Can you write a program on if if and else block like uh, like if a num give give a number as two and write if number equal to two print uh, that uh, the number mm -hmm. is two else print number is not two. Okay, uh, I need to write now. Yes, uh, open your Eclipse and share your screen and write. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is my office laptop. So, uh, so is it opening? Will that I'm trying actually. Yes. No, actually, no, no, it is not opening. Okay. Can you explain the logic then? How to do like input will be int equal to two and x and if uh, write if and else explain if and else condition that if number is two then print the number is two else print number is not two. What will be the logic? Okay, in that case we can use a uh, if else statement. Uh, okay. uh, and while printing uh, we have to print two, right? Mm, yes. Okay, so. Uh, I, I I can add one method uh, that uh, int a is equal to two, and uh, in that um, if um, uh, like uh, the in uh, if block I can write uh, that uh, if uh, the number is true, then uh, go and print like uh, something uh, my name uh, Ranjit, or mm -hmm. uh, if the number is uh, like not true. Uh, what we can say not true uh, that we uh, that i write into the else block and uh, okay. if uh, yeah um, if uh, if number is not equal to 2 then uh, um, then uh, exemption will be uh, come or nothing will be uh, shown yeah then pass the else block okay yeah. so how many if blocks total we can have maximum uh, we can have uh, multiple if blocks Okay, and in that condition, one minute. In that condition, uh, whatever a block comes first, and whatever is true, that will be executed. Okay, and uh, how many if else block we can have? Um, if else block uh, we can. That also uh, we can have a multiple if if else block. Okay, Ranjit, thank you. You need to prepare, do some more preparations of those topics which you have left out, scanner yes, and yes. that. Uh, super uh, calling. Super yes. calling statement, super keyword, this calling statement, yes. this keyword. This and keyword uh, is used when the method parameter and global variables are same. Okay. And this calling the statement parameter. is used to call the constructor in the, from one to another constructor in the same class. Super keyword will is used during method overriding to help to call the parent class implementation along with child class implementation. Since in method overriding, parent class gets suppressed, overridden. So only the child class is implemented. To get the parent class implementation, we use super keyword. Okay. And uh, need to prepare on typecasting, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Any feedback and the scanner? Yeah, need to pre preparation. Need to have preparation and come again another time. Need to give higher. Okay, so uh, then what time? Then when I can give viva? Then viva, viva. Whenever you are free, that time mm -hmm. you can come to give viva. Okay, sure. Okay. I'll prepare and again ping you. Yes, yes, sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you.